Hi, I'm Denise Austin and I'm one of the owners of Beach Volleyball Inc. And we run Beach Volleyball School International for two weeks over the summer in Croyd Bay in North Devon in the United Kingdom. When you want to send your child to our beach volleyball camps, we have a registration page, um, our link on our pages where you can sign up. And then you can ask to be collected at Heathrow Airport or, or at Bristol Airport. And we collect you, um, we arrange for somebody to be at the arrival hall, and we will shuttle you back to North Devon and we house you at a holiday park called Ruda Holidays, which is owned by Park Dean Holiday Resorts and we rent lodges, caravans or houses where we have a house parent living in with them who will feed them, look after them for the two weeks. So what happens when you arrive? You come in on a Saturday, you're pretty tired from traveling, so on the Sunday we just generally have a day off. Um, just getting, settling in, finding your feet, having a look around the village, and just generally recovering from the travel. And then on the Monday to the Thursday, we have two training sessions a day. Um, we usually do from 9.30 to 11.30, and then in the afternoon, two days a week, we do from two to four. And then two of the days a week, we do from 5.30 to 7.30, alongside the local beach volleyball club, the Academy of Beach Sports, which I'm their head coach of. And so we have lots of young internationals. So all the young internationals that come on the beach volleyball school get to train with our young England players that are based in the village. Um, on the Friday, we, it's a travel day to Sandbank. So it's a kind of a rest day and a travel day. Saturday and Sunday, we compete at Sandbanks. Then we come back usually quite late because we have quite a few people that make the finals. So we're traveling back late. We have a nice relaxing day on Monday. We have a morning off. Then we play in the afternoon with the club. Usually, we, if it's a really nice evening, we'll have barbecues, we'll have a sundowner at the beach. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have three days of training. Um, Friday, it's a sightseeing tourist day. We might go into the local town, go and have a little look around, buy some uh, gifts and souvenirs. And then Saturday, we send you back home. In the middle of those two weeks, we go to the British Open Junior Beach Volleyball Championships at Sandbanks, which is in Bournemouth. And we enter you into the tournament over two days and we go camping and you compete for the two days in the Open Championships.
I guess you might be thinking, who am I and why would I send my precious child to an international beach volleyball school in England? I guess, um, one, I've been teaching children and passionately involved in teaching children ever since I began playing at 16. I started teaching at, at 17. I've been coaching for 33 years. I've coached the national team. I've co coached Great Britain. I've coached England. I've coached at world championships and European championships. But I also coach in the local primary schools, the secondary schools and the local colleges. So I'm really heavily involved in looking after children and every level and making sure that they love their volleyball, they stay involved in volleyball and they continue to grow and coach and and just love love the game. And I'm super passionate about making sure that when they come here, they'll love volleyball more than when they arrived. 
A lot of the coaches that work with me are my young coaches that have grown up with me. So I would have begun, um, so this year, for example, in 2019, we had Anaya Evans and she began coaching when she was nine years of age, when she started keep teaching seven-year-olds in her primary school. And so I'm very much on getting our young players growing into becoming very experienced coaches at quite a young age. And um, a lot of our coaches play for England. So um, Anaya, for example, finished uh, with an FIVB medal at Ayas Island on the world tour fairly recently and uh, we always have a, a great input from our coaches as well and they stay they they are involved with the children 24 7 looking after them and making sure that they're looked after.